What's up guys? I don't wanna brag or boast, but it's me, your favorite TPS host. And today we dive into the 10 rookies from 2017 who will be major draft busts. And a big shout out to TD Kid for suggesting this video. And as always, we need you to smash that like button. Like pow, like smash it. And subscribe to our channel. For many professional athletes, the best days of their lives will simply be when they're drafted to become a pro. But being drafted doesn't mean you're gonna succeed, so they shouldn't celebrate too early. In 2017, we saw many teenagers have their dreams come true, but that dream could fade quickly because some of these high draft selections could possibly turn into a huge bust. Number 10, Nico Heischer. The New Jersey Devils drafted Swiss sensation Nico Heischer with the first pick in the 2017 NHL draft. Unfortunately, he's no Connor McDavid or Austin Matthews. Few NHL scouts believe he sure has the ability to be a true franchise-changing player like most first overall choices. He sure also heads to a New Jersey team that has a serious lack of talent. For all we know, he sure becomes a major draft bust and heads back to play in Europe for the bulk of his hockey career. Number nine, Jason Tatum. The Boston Celtics drafted Tatum third overall, but can he really be a good fit there? Boston already has a great small forward in Gordon Hayward. This isn't to take anything away from Tatum's talents, but he's not going to have an easy time fitting in with the Celtics. It wouldn't be shocking if he was primarily a bench player for three years before going to another team. Guys like him need the chance to play and succeed right away. But he's not getting that chance in Boston right off the bat, and that should be a cause for concern. Number eight, Leas Anderson. How bad did the New York Rangers want Leas Anderson? They packaged away multiple assets that included number one center Derek Stepan to land the seventh pick from the Arizona Coyotes. But the Anderson pick alarmed many. He doesn't have a whole lot of size and doesn't carry that wow factor in his game. He doesn't come with a whole lot of upside compared to other prospects in the 2017 NHL draft. Anderson may need a few years until he's an NHL regular, and who knows, he may not even be suited for the NHL. Number seven, Mike Williams. The LA Chargers are one of the worst drafting teams in sports. They took a giant risk selecting Clemson wide receiver Mike Williams with the seventh pick in 2017. There were safer picks that could have been made. Williams has good size at 6'4", 218 pounds, but can that carry over into the NFL? Phillip Rivers already has two great wide receivers in Keenan Allen and Tyrell Williams, plus up and coming tight end Hunter Henry. So will Williams even see the ball that much? That's quite the concern here. And again, the Chargers are really bad at developing their draft picks, so stay tuned. Number six, Deshaun Watson. The Houston Texans drafted Watson 12th overall, hoping they finally have a capable number one quarterback but Watson's dual threat game may not transition into the NFL. Just ask RG3 and Johnny Manziel. Defenses are prepared for that in the big boys league. Furthermore, the Texans rely on an old school rushing offense with a defense that can steal games. Watson's not in a great system to help him emerge as a pure pocket passer. Don't be surprised if he's yet another failed quarterback project in Houston. Number five, Michael Rasmussen. The Detroit Red Wings drafted the six foot six, 215 pound center with the ninth pick. Rasmussen was not a safe pick, however. The Red Wings were heavily criticized for drafting another big boy win. A, they already have Anthony Mantha, and B, the league is dominated by speed more than size today. Rasmussen wasn't exactly needed in Detroit. They also love to take their time trying to develop their players. Rasmussen is in a strange situation there in Hockey Town. It shouldn't shock anybody if he doesn't succeed as a professional. Number four, Frank Nilakina. Why is, why is there a T in his name if you don't pronounce, if it's silent? Why? The rebuilding New York Knicks took a chance on the Frenchman point guard selecting him eighth overall. But is he really the future of the Knicks? As a point guard, his outside shooting isn't exactly inspiring. He can certainly play strong defense, but the main job for a point guard is to lead the offense and distribute. Neil Aquina has lots of potential, but the Knicks need to surround him with stars if they want results right away. Number three, Corey Davis. The Tennessee Titans used the fifth overall selection on Corey Davis. But is the Western Michigan wide receiver really gonna succeed? Marcus Mariota already has a nice set of weapons in Tennessee, and many believe Davis could have been available much later. Davis just isn't a sure thing, and it's gonna be hard to steal targets from Tennessee's other pass catchers. Ankle injuries also scared some scouts, and his cuts and route running aren't exactly elite. Number two, Larry Markkinen. The Chicago Bulls traded Jimmy Butler to the Minnesota Timberwolves, earning a big package that included the seventh overall pick in return. So they went with finish forward Larry Markkinen with that pick. But this is one selection that earned a lot of bad grades from NBA prognosticators. Markkinen doesn't come with much upside on offense. His defense also won't scare off NBA stars. And with virtually no talent on the Bulls roster, Markkinen isn't going to be able to make much of an impact early on. Number one, Mitch Trubisky. Anytime a quarterback is drafted to an awful NFL team, they're in danger of being a bust. 
Just ask all those Cleveland Brown guys like Tim Couch and Brandon Wheaton and Johnny Manziel. Or ask the LA Rams or even ask the Jacksonville Jaguars. You get the point. Second overall pick Mitch Trubisky is a big risk for the Chicago Bears. He's going to a really awful team with little talent on the roster. He also has a lot to work on. He's no sure thing to succeed as a passer, and he's going to have to avoid the usual rookie quarterback mistakes. Many thought Trubisky wasn't even the best quarterback in the draft that lacked quality signal calls. So yeah, we're definitely thinking that Trubisky is going to be a bust. What other 2017 rookies do you think could turn into busts? Join us in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.